Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Dirt Showdown. I almost called it Dirt 3. Let's hop into the next race and just try to get as many races as done possible. Uh, purchasing ability right now, we can buy the Duke. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna save all money uh, forever. Till, till the end. Till we've done each one. Ooh, uh, Snowland, um, Christmas theme. This again is a track we saw in Dirt 3, or at least similar enough to to the track that we saw in Dirt 3. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we have any really increase in difficulty for handling when you're driving on snow. Uh, if that was really a thing in Dirt 3, I, I don't recall it actually feeling too different. Uh, maybe ever so slightly less traction, but also I was playing on easy, and so, and I'm still playing on easy, so that might also affect things so that everything feels nice and tight in your handling department. Uh, And then it'll be interesting if there are any dynamic weathers that happens, like raining, snowing, uh, or if we even have a day-night cycle, dawn, dusk, night, or if, I'm, frankly all of these things have been already programmed by by Codemasters, there's no reason why it shouldn't be in the game. The only reason I could think is if it is in an attempt to save space and just squeeze the game onto an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 disc. Uh, here, when we do this and I rewind, if I hit the back button does that just hides the menu and if I hit A I'm still doing this hmm so B is the only button but in this case it just doesn't do I'm driving backwards right now. Uh, you just don't get a reset in this game. Which I think is fine. The races are short enough that you don't need that, that ability to reset. But it kind of makes the ability to make a crash video and put it on YouTube seem a little silly. And... As it seems, YouTube is less and less friendly, well, let's just put it more accurately, YouTube is more and more hostile to new YouTubers and streamers. I wouldn't be surprised if abilities and games to share videos to YouTube uh, become disallowed and banned. On the other hand, like, I think at least a decent legal argument could be made that games that have a share to YouTube button in their, uh, in their games are at least implicitly giving you permission to put their content on YouTube. <laughs> uh, they're effectively giving you an implicit license to do so, uh, which is better than arguing that it's fair use, which in many instances is it wouldn't be fair use if you're simply putting up footage from the game and not commenting on it or, or in other way in any in some other way transforming it. Hmm. 
But racing games, I guess in general, res racing and sports games are gonna specifically benefit from making clips of their action, like fighting games, um, MOBAs, and, and well, card games. They, they benefit a lot more than story-based games where you wouldn't particularly want just the entire story to be viewable. So this time is Rampage in Yokohama and then Michigan. Let's see what it's available for purchase these days. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing. Uh, the game is really still introducing things. There's a bunch of metal bars around me and I think welded on the side as bumpers and I imagine the idea here is to slam into things. So you want to get speed, slam into your car and try to do as much damage as possible. Jonas has already gotten close to 3,000 points, but I'm, I'm back at one. I'm doing damage to your own car. Doesn't seem like it does anything. Forward momentum. See, I drove that car right into the wall and it didn't count for anything. And if I slam into something backwards, I think I killed myself. Which, I don't know if that takes me out of play for any amount of time at all. We've got potentially a double takeout if we can get some power and maybe knock Jonas out of the play. These are fun enough, but... But they are also kind of not... not really unique enough. I need to hit something quickly. I got first place at the last second. Continue, continue, continue. How about you just skip to the next base? Much like Dirt 3, the, this game needs a playlist feature where you can just say, add this track to our playlist and and let's just keep going. Let, let's have more game here. Uh, the breaks in between don't feel fun. Arguably, maybe they're good on your fingers, particularly in this game where you're you're doing a lot of pressing the A button to boost. Uh, maybe that should be on an R or left bump by default. Although, 
let's face it, the, the right way to play this game probably is with the steering wheel. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm using my thumb up a little bit more. Bonfire? <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see that. And you shouldn't burn tires. You give off toxic fumes when you burn rubber. And we've got some rain, so glad to see that. And we've got some water that we drove over, but I don't know if that really affected uh, our our handling any. I've already lost my rear bumper. Well, that was probably more of an accomplishment than I would have guessed. To fall off the edge of the track. Here's an interesting point. This game is not available on Steam, yet still it has achievements. So I assume I'll still earn them, or almost certainly. Um, but what does that really mean or, or translate into? Like I got achievements that newer people that don't have this game can't ever get. Hmm. It did seem like I sped up on the water. Less friction. Here's Brad McCoy. Is that somebody famous? Are these all famous names of people? Probably. I'm wondering if maybe I should turn off the music. Hmm. See, I don't know if YouTube is gonna content ID claim the copyright on all this music that's playing. And if I do, that that makes for a worse experience because then you, YouTube tries to take it out uh, at my request and it sometimes succeeds at that and sometimes doesn't. Uh, and it creates this scenario where your videos rot away over time as more and more companies claim they own the copyright for more and more songs or the same songs over and over again. Hmm. So, next race, I think we'll try it in silence and see what it sounds like. Uh, I imagine the hardcore awesome racers probably wouldn't be too happy with this game anyways, so... But... Uh, but uh, they would want to hear the... The sound of the engine. So let's see how this... I guess when the YouTube videos that you can upload the crashes play out, there's no music playing in the background for that. I would guess that's how it works. And you are in this weird position where the song just kind of starts, and so you're always uh, hearing just the beginning of a song. Let's see. Come over here, audio options, menu music. Hmm. Event music. Interesting, they've separated it out as two different things. Let's see what a race feels like then. I I'm quite liking the music even though I, I'm not particularly a fan of any of it um, or even recognize it but 
it gives me a feeling of playing something like a Tony Hawk skating game and that is kind of the equivalent of what's happening here is we are playing this type of game that uh, have we done all of these? I guess we have. Uh, that is more more for kids than it is for racing fanatics, I suppose. Ra racing fans. So you can hear the audience. So this is the race where you want to avoid being slammed into the side for as long as possible. And there's more and more cars are going to come around and try to do it. So attempts at doing donuts to get around corners might be helpful. But mostly, it's just boost, boost, boost. Boost your way into areas further away from them. And they've got bronze in the bag. You know what this event needs? More hard. That's what it needs. Yeah. Bring them in! The attackers are ganging up. I've got just a few more seconds that I need to survive. I have just a little bit of health left, but if I can stay far enough away, I'm in first. Now, celebrate the insanity. It's over. Hmm. And I guess the game would have just kept going. That time... It's kind of fine without the music. It's it's a little dull, certainly. Uh, I prefer the music. Um, it gives you something to listen to while you're doing things that are pretty simplistic. But not really necessary. But it definitely does add to the experience. We'll get back to Nevada here. This is an elimination race, so... Let's see. So it'll be a little bit longer. We'll see how that feels. And then I think I probably will just turn the music back on. Look at that, man. The earth cries when these guys cry. At the very least, I will uh, experience the music and enjoy it. Oh, I'm about to get eliminated. This is the elimination race where last person at the end every 15 seconds or so gets knocked out. So, one big collision mess messes you up. Now I'm in first position, so all I have to do is hold first position. So, let my boost refill, for the most part. Hmm. Again, nothing wrong without the music, but it's a little bit duller. It, it needs the music for a better experience. Away, cars. Oh, out of time. 
And there's one more. He's right behind me. And I don't believe in Dirt 3. I'm about to make second. Darn it. That's one car left. Can they hold on? Uh, I'm. Yeah, Dirt 3 didn't have an arrow when something was behind you. I don't think it was as big a deal. However, because most of the rally car races, it wasn't even you weren't even racing for position; you were racing for times. So two rounds for this elimination. So we're doing the race backwards, I'm sure. And as long as I'm finish higher than the person who finished first here this round which it seems like they program it specifically so that it will always be close to the case uh, I'll get first they seem to always default a tie into your favor This is the only kind of game I will allow for you to get mud on your screen and feel alright with it. Mud or water on your screen when it's raining is games that where you're actually in a car and there's actually a piece of glass in front of you. Uh, so many other games, The Witcher 3 sadly had that feature too where you would get water on the screen when it rained for really no reason because you were controlling the Witcher, not some camera with glass in front of it, uh, looking at the Witcher. There's only seconds to go. It's ridiculous. And they're out of here. Second twice by two different cars. Probably gonna put me in first place. Yep. I still ended up in first place. Somehow. Even though I got second twice. Way too much loading into the menu. Seriously. Seriously, game. Seriously. Uh, I would assume that there must be a different... Uh, that's an interesting car. There must be a different engine or a majorly different part of the engine that runs the menu versus what runs the game or a different department or or entire company that makes the menus for them because it shouldn't load it shouldn't have to load Get the audio back and just keep playing. Nevada 8 Ball or Roulette Rumble, whatever. Hmm. I'm gonna skip to the next car now and we'll just go through all of these, even if these are different, the same skins. I don't think they are. I think they might be similar skins for a different type of car. Interesting when it starts loading, the audio gets louder. And then the race starts. And it's a different song when the race starts, I think. Which, that seems silly. 
Why not just continue playing the song that was playing in the menu? Like, put it, put the next song in the queue. Now, in Dirt 3, there was, even though it had like hundreds of different cars and hundreds of different races, it felt like, I ended up using what I think was DLC cars that were way better in statistics than anything else, and uh, it had this money system where you got more money by driving this one car that was at the beginning of the list than anything else. Um, so, I never switched cars out. It was rather dull and boring. Uh, here, even if I am kind of goofing around and taking a car that's slightly worse than what I could be taking, uh, there seems like there's a decent chance that if you were going to play this game and try to get gold on every uh, single race. By the time you've run every race a couple times, you would have had every single car used and, uh, wow, I just dropped the ball there at the end. My boost is low. Last second loss there. Last second fifth place. Oh, no, we still have a whole nother lap. Seems to be that there's some, perhaps some rubber banding going on where cars speed up and slow down to give you a chance. Second place. Going for first. That's it, they passed them. This car doesn't handle as well. Like the pip said at the beginning of when I picked the car. Could be because I'm dragging a bumper behind me. One more is at the finish. But yeah. That car doesn't handle as well. So I think in just the search of, for brevity in, in playing this game, because I've already played Dirt 3 this year, and it's ridiculous to play two racing car games uh, in one year. Uh, The, I think I'll go back to a, to my previous selection of car, just the default one, which had slightly better handling, and I've gotten used to. And we'll just look at all the cars and the different skins at the end of the game, at the end of the series. Again, I might just end up in fifth position. This is so much better commentary than what you got in Dirt 3, where it was like hard right, right 30, left 20, 
and the game never explained what any of that meant at all. I imagine it was telling you angles or something uh, that you were supposed to have memorized the types of curves in the racetracks. Uh, but even on the simplified uh, co-pilot comments, it, it still often didn't make any sense. And I would just not know what they're trying to convey. Trying to boost as much as possible. One lap to go. One more lap. I just turned that car 90 degrees. He's going the wrong direction now. third place. Rubber banding is pretty bad, but whatever. It's even in a four lap race doing a figure eight where it is kind of, kind of short. Uh, no, this race was kind of long at three minutes. It's still not that long. I could come back here and do, do this again easily. Assuming I need to, or want to, like, in all honesty, probably won't ever bother to do it. But I do need to get further ahead in the races so there's more cars to purchase. And just, but as we just saw, changing cars may not be for the better so next time we do trick rush which might be rather difficult and then a knockout and then we've got three more and then the boss battle and we're good to go well that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.